Hi everyone, I'm Rihanna Lilly-Smith from Technology Networks and today I'm delighted to introduce Roman Zhu, a doctoral student from the University of Sydney Nano Institute and School of Physics, to discuss their latest study published in Nature Communications. Zhu and his colleagues developed a novel neural network made from nanowires that is capable of learning and remembering on the fly. What motivated your research team to explore the concept of learning and memory on the fly using nanowire networks? The success of AI has been remarkable over the past decade, and much of that was enabled by the use of artificial neural networks. But artificial neural networks also have a downside. They have a massive carbon footprint, and their requirement for computing power has outpaced the development of computing hardware like CPUs and GPUs. And lots of that computing power was just used to train those networks. And here we aim to find a more efficient system, which led us to nanowire networks. Can you explain in more detail how the physical neural network with nanowires functions and how it mimics the operation of the brain's neurons? Um, these networks are made of tiny silver nanowires. And um, during fabrication, those nanowires, they just self-assemble into a brain-like structure. Uh, very similar to a game called Pickup Sticks. What's more interesting is actually the cross points between those nanowires. Um, when electrical signal is applied across those cross points, their conductance change. Um, this is very similar to biological synapses, which enables the nanowire network to learn and remember things. So what makes this technology stand out from traditional machine learning approaches? So first of all, those networks are very easy to fabricate and also very easy to scale up. And secondly, um, in traditional neural networks, the network itself does lots of heavy lifting just by doing all those nonlinear operations. But in our nanowire networks, we map all those heavy lifting directly onto the hardware, which make the system very, very efficient. Can you discuss the potential impact of this research on the field of artificial intelligence and machine learning, particularly in terms of energy efficiency and real-time data processing? So the efficiency of our system is directly related to the real-time data processing. For traditional artificial neural networks, a huge pre-collected data set is sliced into chunks and delivered to artificial neural networks. And then the network has to learn from the same data sample for several times to achieve good results. And here in our system, the network learn directly on hardware as soon as the sample comes out and for only once. And this makes our system way more efficient. What are the next steps in your research and what applications or industries do you see benefiting the most from advancements in brain-inspired learning and memory using nanowire networks? So in the future, we would like to implement more knowledge and principles from neuroscience to make our system more realistic, uh, more powerful, and potentially even more efficient. Um, in terms of application, I think sensor devices like cameras, motion sensors, and gyroscopes can definitely benefit a lot from our system. We can directly extract information and process them on the fly. And I think it will be also good for companies who prioritize security and uh, privacy because we can directly process information locally without uh, sending them to the cloud. To make sure you never miss a story, subscribe to Breaking Science News, the daily newsletter by Technology Networks. Bye.